big days are coming up. I have excavation equipment being delivered and I will be doing what I hope is the last of the big ambitious excavation under the camp. I'm replacing the old rickety post and beam foundation. And while I'm at it, I'm making the job harder by adding usable space. The space is 30 feet by 15 feet. Last summer, I put up more than half of the concrete posts and beams. Well, maybe half. But I only removed a portion of the soil. Excavating the rest of this in one go will be a bit of a tile puzzle. I'll strategically put up a house jack, excavate an area, move the house jack into that area, move on. Now, the high drama, which may not be readily apparent, is that three days from now, I will either have a fully excavated space ready to finish, or we will be looking at a big or several big pieces of ledge, which will stop things dead in their tracks. How do you spell conveniently? a third of the way in which is good for a three-day job. Here's the morning ledge report. The front half of the concrete east wall was pinned into a stretch of ledge that was magically placed to play the role of footing and it continues on at this point, it's entered the room by a few inches, but I can live with it.
that, the camera died at the climactic moment. I hooked it on the top corner, pulled it, and it collapsed under the sewer line without hitting it. It was great. Now I've got to get it out of here. Stadium seating. I think it's okay. This large, very interesting looking formation, which is very much in the room, um, and I would leave it, but I fear that uh, having this permeate the back concrete wall would lead to water seeping into the space forever. Uh, I will consult with my engineer, but I suspect I'll want to lose this, and this stone, I don't know my stone, is breakable. We have another day of digging ahead. Feels good to get this one in. I'm working my way around to get that one out, and it's doing a lot of work. There we go. Belts, suspenders, one more belt.
The ledge spirits were remarkably kind. Magic footing ledge comes up into the floor. That's all right. Stadium seating rocks will go or stay. And uh, we got this big boulder, which I kind of like. So we finish out the board form concrete walls, put in the rest of the cedar posts, the rest of the hemlock beams. The open spaces are filled with rough cut white pine framing, a concrete slab, then my father's billiard table, a piano, big double door looking out at the lake, window, 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 and a bar right back here. Long bench running along that side of the room. Almost done.